Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishrash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is on MCQ and the question is in front of you. I request everyone please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe we have tried, so let's start. Now, let's read the question. How many equivalent of Grignard reagent is needed to get the tertiary alcohol from this molecule? So actually here, if you react this with X equivalent of Grignard reagent, you get the tertiary alcohol. So you have to say how many equivalent of Grignard region needed, I mean four option to get the tertiary alcohol. So this problem has two parts student. One is actually the nature or reactivity of the Grignard region and second where the reaction will take place, I mean in this molecule. So let's learn the Grignard region a little first. So this Grignard region is actually base or nucleophile. I mean if you take RNGX or you can say methyl, magnesium bromide by the way aryl grignard uh, reagent i mean phenyl magnesium bromide it also shows similar kind of property so i'll not go now here if you look at this grignard reagent i mean methyl magnesium bromide now magnesium is more electropositive with respect to carbon means carbon is relatively more electronegative now here magnesium is attached to two atom bromine carbon by the way, bromine is more electronegative compared to carbon. So based on the electronegative difference, this bromine could be delta negative, carbon could be delta negative. Now if you look at this bromine part, this part is relatively stable, means the negative charge on bromine. Why? Because it's a highly electronegative atom getting some extra charge because of the bond polarity means electronegative difference. So it is relatively stable. But if you look at this carbon, it also got some amount of negative charge density but still it is not that much stable. Why? Because carbon is actually neither electropositive nor electronegative. So it's moderate. So that's the reason this part is actually more reactive. And technically if I say it can act as base or nucleophile depending on the situation. Means if you give polar molecule like for example OH, SH, NH etc. Then this if you look at the electronegative difference between oxygen and hydrogen significantly higher. So this is delta plus this is delta minus similar for here also. So in that case this Grignard reagent this carbon react with this hydrogen and produces methane means alkane produces similarly for with thiol also. Now this part we understand so if you give this polar molecule then it will act as base. Now second nucleophile when it's possible if you give a electrophilic center for example if you look at acid chloride here actually why I'm saying this example because it is given in our question. So if you look at this acid chloride this chlorine is a very high electronegative atom. Oxygen is also very high electronegative atom so oxygen will pull electron density chlorine will pull. So because of these pulling they will have some extra electron density and this is where they are very comfortable with it because they are electronegative atom but the electron density is taken from this carbon atom means this carbon will become electron deficient delta positive means you can expect okay it is electrophile since it's electron deficient then it will love to have some electron density from some molecule so it will act as an electrophile. Now in this case this Grignard reagent they can act as a nucleophile I mean it can attack it can attack it will open up and it will come back Cl will leave. So what is the product here you can expect R C double bond O another side methyl and obviously Cl minus is gone but the reaction will not be stopped here question why now if you look at carbon versus oxygen so still polarization exists means this oxygen is delta negative carbon is delta positive and we know that carbonyl carbon is electrophilic in nature and second point if this ketone this is actually a ketone if ketone reacts with Grignard reagent similarly this methyl will attack here and it will open up so what will be the product obviously it will be a tertiary alcohol means R CO minus now CH3 CH3 now obviously if you do the workup this alkoxide will be quenched and it will produce the corresponding alcohol or technically if I say a tertiary alcohol. So you can understand if you react Grignard reagent with acid chloride by nucleophilic substitution first one is acyl nucleophilic substitution and second one is nucleophilic addition to finally it will produce 
tertiary alcohol. Now this is overall discussion of our question. Now let's go to today's problem to know further. Now if you look at the mechanism, first step, actually two equivalent Grignard reagents. By the way, remember whenever you do any chemical reaction of Grignard reagent, anhydrous solvents presence is essential. And generally for Grignard reagent, anhydrous ether is preferred. Two reason: one, anhydrous environment, so no moisture present. So Grignard reagent, this methyl group cannot react like this. If I say moisture means water, so this part. So Grignard reagent will not be wasted. Point number one and second, ether can coordinate to magnesium and stabilize this reagent. Now, so first, first what kind of reaction happen? So first there will be an acid base reaction. Remember, acid base reactions are the first test reaction. That's why the first step will associate it with acid base reaction. Now what will happen? This SH polar, I have just explained this OH also polar. So they will be obstructed by this Grignard reagent. That's why two equivalent of Grignard reagent. Obviously, I am taking this is one equivalent. So these two proton will come out and obviously two equivalent of methane gas will come out. So here this is plus plus in order to counterbalance the charge two equivalent of mag NGBr plus will be there as a counter cation. Fine. Now next step this carbon is electrophilic. I have shown that acid chloride two equivalent of acid chlorides are given two molecules. So two molecules Grignard will react and it will produce the ketone still not reaction is not finished. This step is actually acyl nucleophilic substitution. Now next step, next step again, it is a nucleophilic addition to produce this tertiary alcohol. Two molecule, by the way, it is not at all tertiary alcohol. I should write O minus that will be more accurate. So this step is nucleophilic addition. Now next step, so obviously work up this O minus will get proton and ultimately it will result this OH. Not only that, these O minus and these S minus will also abstract proton. See H3O plus means H plus plus water. So this H plus will protonate this electronegative center means neg negatively charged centers and it will produce this molecule. So this is actually our product. So look at. First case, two equivalent. Second case, two equivalent. Total four equivalent. Third step, total six equivalent of Grignard reagent is consumed. So how many equivalent of Grignard reagent is needed to get the tertiary alcohol? Obviously here six equivalent. Now, if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds, how can you solve? You need to remember some kind of chemical reaction. For example, acid chloride reacts with Grignard reagent and produces tertiary alcohol through intermediate is actually a ketone. Okay, so in this context, one molecule of acid chloride consumed two equivalent of Grignard reagent to produce the corresponding tertiary alcohol. Since there are two acid chloride given, so two plus two, four equivalent now. There are two polar groups, OH and SH, so another two equivalent. Now someone can ask that, sir, uh, is it possible that one acid chloride will react and it will produce a tertiary alcohol? So this part will be a alcohol tertiary alcohol so OH and after that through intramolecular reaction further reaction will happen oh so is it really possible those kind of thing student that is complicated why I say it's complicated because acid chloride is far more reactive compared to ketone so one acid chloride will be converted to ketone another will not react it is not possible point number one point number two that okay if two both side is there one side will be ketone reduced another side will not not possible so both side will be converted to ketone and obviously first two steps are there so you don't expect that sir one will be reacted another will be unreactive not possible so both will react actually remember one thing a call, common tendency of a reaction is to more reactive molecule to less reactive molecule Okay, more reactive to less reactive means overall in this conversion some stability is obtained. So that is actually driving force of any particular reaction. So do not get confused sir. If one converted another not then it will react. No, no, no. These acid chlorides are far more reactive compared to ketone and after reduction of ketone you can get this alcohol. So that's a very longer step. And nucleophilic addition of carbonyl is also a reversible reaction. So do not get confused that okay why not that. 
that will not happen so ultimately for that purpose six mode and by the way the options are selected in such a way that you will not get that four equivalency four equivalent not mentioned here also so you don't need to be confused also so this is the overall discussion i believe this video may be useful thanks for watching and if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow and if you have any doubt regarding the logo of my channel i mean swastika please read this part your doubt will be clear so see you in my next video. Bye-bye.